Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little like day in the life vlog. It's a bank holiday Monday today, it's the August bank holiday in England and I'm off work so I thought I'd just take you with me on what I do today. I've had quite a busy weekend, it was my sister's birthday and I was back in Edinburgh. I arrived back in London yesterday evening and now I just want to make the most of this one extra day off and I'm gonna vlog it. So right now I look a little bit tired and my eyes are a bit fuzzy still. I'm gonna go on a run. Once I get back I'm gonna talk a little bit more about running because it's something I've recently started and I just want to have a chat about it. But I'm gonna go on a run right now. It's like nine, half nine in the morning so it's not that early. I'm not an early riser at all so for me this is a good time to wake up and I will be back later. It looks pretty sunny outside so I'm quite excited to just get outside and enjoy the good weather early today. Hello! I'm back. I've had my run. I've got a towel on. Do not worry. It's like 11 o'clock right now already. Actually, it's past 11. It's probably half past already. I'm supposed to be meeting friends at 1, so I'm in a little bit of a rush, actually. I didn't really expect this. I thought I had the whole morning and I was just chilling. After my run, I went to Tesco, grabbed some stuff for my kind of breakfast, but no lunch. I'm just going to start getting ready, and whilst I'm getting ready, I'll chat to you guys because, um, yeah, I realised I don't have as much time as I thought I did, so... I need to keep moving. I'm probably going to be late, but I'll try not be too late. This is going to be a mini get ready with me whilst also chatting about running because um, I've got limited time. Um, I'm going to have to mix a dark and a light foundation because I um, don't have one that matches me. I've also noticed while setting up where I'm going to film for you, I don't have the most like immediately aesthetic flat. It's lovely and I am um, very grateful to live here, but um, in comparison to what you usually see on YouTube, I feel like my flat's not exactly um, popping. I'm going to talk about running whilst I'm getting ready, which is a wee bit ironic because I'm getting ready to go and drink alcohol. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about it because I want to kind of bring it into my channel a little bit. I know I don't post crazy, crazy amounts on my channel very much anymore. Um, I kind of see my channel as, and I'm sure I've said this before, like it is just a reflection of me and my life and it just fits around me. I'm not looking to make money off YouTube, I'm not looking to become famous off YouTube. It is a personal blog for me and I absolutely love that some people are coming along with me and enjoying my content. I mean, that always makes things a million times funner when people um, appreciate what you do, but um, I am not like, a, I don't see myself as a YouTuber. I just see myself as someone who has a YouTube blog. Um, that was a massive sidetrack. What I was trying to say is, I wanted to start posting a little bit more about running on my channel, um, despite the fact that I don't post that much anyway. Um, because it's something that I've just recently kind of started and it's just so bizarre how I've managed to get into it. I actually, I have absolutely hated the idea of running. I used to do hockey when I was in high school and it was just so painful when they made you do running. I mean, when they made you do like those sprints to warm up and you'd go do laps of the pitch, honestly, I just absolutely hated it. I just, it was the most painful, grueling thing you could ever make me do at 16 years old, honestly. And I think that stuck with me for so, so long and I vowed never to ever do it again. But when gyms closed and I had to find different ways to um, exercise, not that I need to like, I'm a pretty slim person, I know that I don't necessarily need to lose weight, but it's still beneficial for like your mental health. So I thought I'd give it a try. I did that 5K, five, did eight, five, and tell your friends or whatever, tag five and that was the worst experience of my life. That did not spark my interest by any means, but it did make me, oh, that's a bit much concealer. It did make me um, find a newfound appreciation for people who run. I realized how hard it was. I was absolutely knackered after probably running about 30 seconds and um, I must have just been so fit when I was younger and just didn't realize I was and now I've lost it all. And it made me a little bit sad, it made me appreciate how amazing people are that can do like 10Ks and triathlons and marathons and all this kind of stuff. Um, not that that made me want to do it, but um, it did make me appreciate them, which I think was step one. And then I kind of just let it settle, did not run at all for about a month. 
Um, and then my friend told me about this app called Couch to 5K, which now that I've started speaking about it to people, I think a lot of people know about it was just me being oblivious to it all and didn't have an idea what it was. Anyway, she was doing it. She was getting towards the end of the whole program and loving it, um, seeing so much progress and what kind of made me interested was the fact that she said on week one you literally run for 60 seconds and then you walk for a minute and a half then you run again for 60 and it's like nothing it's just such a minimal amount of time actually running and but it eases you in really quickly I mean don't get me wrong that first um that first run which was the 60 the 60 seconds was bloody painful. I think I had to actually sit down when I was halfway in. But because it was one of these kind of programs and it shows your progress and it tracks you along and it gives you reminders, um, I kind of got into it and it's really helped me kind of get into running and it's given me something to do whilst gyms have been closed and now they're open. Um, I'm not particularly the most comfortable to go into a gym just because that's a sweaty area. Now that I've found running, I actually don't really feel like I need to go back to the gym. I still have a membership, but I'm now at week five of nine. The program is nine weeks long, the Couch to 5K app. And I think now I'm at the stage where I'm running for five minutes and then walking for three, five minutes, walking for three, five minutes running, walking for three. Um, which still doesn't sound like that much. I mean, five minutes to run is quite minimal in comparison to people who run for like marathons which are hours long or more than are they not like two and a half hours a marathon I don't know. I'm still such a beginner but weirdly that's not deterring me and um, the fact that I could only run I could barely run 60 when I started five weeks ago and now and now I'm running for five minutes which is so difficult but it's um doable and it wouldn't have been doable five weeks ago. It's really good actually, I would recommend it. I'll probably do a proper video on like a review of the app and a review of my whole journey once I finish the nine weeks. So look forward to that and I'll properly talk about everything. Um, Cause I know I'm just kind of spraffing right now whilst I'm rushing to get ready. I just went away and grabbed another brush and then came back and everything was out of focus. So sorry you've missed half my face whilst I've been getting ready. But I'm just going to do my eyebrows. Anyway, never thought that I would be getting into running. Never really expected this, but I'm now at week five. So I am quite impressed with myself and I'm going to now see if I can upgrade myself to a better pair of running shoes. Um, this is something that I've heard a lot of people say really really helps you run and once you get a good pair of shoes you will notice the difference so I think I need to kind of invest now in a pair of running shoes and I'm five weeks in so I think I've proven to myself really that I will keep going also another thing which I need to do is look into how to run so if any of you guys actually are runners or have kind of recently gone to running and maybe are a wee bit ahead of me in your journey um let me know if you've kind of come across any tips or major revelations of like um technique or anything in particular because I don't really know and I need to probably just find some youtubers that can tell me this and I can get into watching because I'm a little bit worried that my posture and my technique is wrong and I'm maybe hurting myself or I'm just not getting the best out of my runs so it's definitely something I need to start looking into because when I start running longer, I don't want to strain my body and cause any damage. Look into running influencers and in particular look into my technique. I think that's everything. I'm just going to put some lip gloss on and I need to blow dry my hair as well. So I will come back in a minute and talk to you guys then. Makeup and hair is dry. I'll probably just straighten my hair once I've had my lunch because it's a little bit poofy. I'm just going to make my lunch now because I've not actually even had breakfast and I need to go pretty soon. I think we're going to have a cream cheese bagel and ooh, I might make a cheesy bagel as well. I bought cheese. So much cheese. I would much rather go to do a big shop but I don't have time. So we're just going to make do. I've got strawberries. When does this go out of date? Oh, fab! We've got a yogurt. We're going to have strawberries and then we're going to have bagels and that should be fine and then where we're going kind of does food as well so I'll be able to get maybe like pizza or something at a bar. We're going to Prince 
um, which is in Chelsea area. If any of you guys have been or live around London, it's really beautiful. It's like a massive indoor outdoor vibe. It's kind of got like, it's kind of like being in a conservatory. It is covered, but it's very open and airy and light. So it's very beautiful. And I'm meeting all of the people. It's basically everyone that is on my graduate scheme. Um, that joined at the same time as me. So there's like 30 of us, but not everyone will come because loads of people are now living back at home because of um, COVID. So I'm assuming maybe like 15 people will be there, like a good half. Um, but I don't wanna be late because we do have a booking and I always feel very cheeky um, when you have a booking and like two people are sitting at the table, but not everyone else has turned up. So I'm gonna try to be as on time as I can be, bearing in mind it is 45 minutes till we're meant to arrive and I'm still eating my lunch. Okay, I'm on my way right now to the tube station, which takes me pretty much to the door of the Prince, which is ideal. This is such like an adult thing to be annoyed about. I put a wash on this morning at nine o'clock or half nine and it's still on. I'm so annoyed because it's now gonna finish probably like literally at 10 minutes. And then it'll be sitting there for like hours now whilst I'm at the bar getting like, Smelly, you know when you leave clothes wet and cold in a pile, you have to hang them up. Such an adult thing to be annoyed about, but I was literally waiting and waiting and waiting for it to finish and it just didn't finish. We can't go out to like the outdoor deck, but we can still see the sunset and it's honestly so beautiful. I'll see if I can like focus it behind me. Oh no, we're zooming in. Ah, hello! My hair is bobbing because I walk so fast, but I am off the train and I'm on my way home. It's so much later than I thought it was gonna be. I honestly expected to maybe be finished up with the grads this evening at like nine but it's ended up being like 11 o'clock and I'm going home and I've got work tomorrow, so a bit scandalous for a Monday night. I managed to grab some stuff in Tesco on the way home. I just like got some snacks, but I feel like I should probably eat a proper meal, but I don't really have time for it and it's 11 o'clock. So I think I'll probably just have some cereal, maybe a bagel. God, I'm living off bagels right now. Honestly, I'm just so shocked that I'm, I'm home at like 11. I genuinely expected to be coming home at like eight, nine for my meal. I get home, I'm just chilling, having a little bit of food before I go to bed. So I'm gonna wrap up. I hope you enjoyed, I hope this vlog was all right and fun. I have no idea what it's gonna look like till I edit, but hopefully it was good, I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a like if you did and let me know if you've got anything you wanna chat about in the comments. Bye.